so things get much, much worse. Um, and in fact, let me just use a simple analogy because people often will say, well, you know, four or five degrees, that doesn't sound like very much. I mean, I see the ch temperature change more from night to day. But I, I, it's the wrong way to think about it. I mean, think about when you get sick and you get a fever. Okay? Your body is usually at you know, 98.7 degrees. If you, your temperature rises by one degree, you feel a little off, but you can still go to work, you're fine. Um, it rises by two degrees, and you're now feeling sick. In fact, you're probably going to take the day off because uh, you definitely don't feel good. And in fact, you're getting everything from hot flashes to cold chills. Okay? Um, at three degrees, you're starting to get really sick. And at four degrees and five degrees, your brain is actually slipping into a coma. Okay? You're close to death. Um, I think there's an analogy here of that little, that little uh, difference in global average temperature, just like that little difference in global body temperature can have huge implications uh, as you keep going. And so, unfortunately, the world after two and especially after three degrees starts getting um, much more frightening. And that's exactly what the scientists keep telling us. But will we pay attention to those warning signs? What do you think? I think we are entirely capable of responding to those warning signs. Absolutely. When this country and when this planet puts their minds to do something, they absolutely can do this. Um, and in fact, I often go back to a great old quote by Henry Ford, who said, um, those who think they can and those who think they can't are both right. <laughs> um, this is within our power. Um, we have waited, however, a, a long time uh, to really engage this issue and to get started. And unfortunately, and this is actually a core American value, it goes back to the founding of this country, and it goes back to Benjamin Franklin, one of the leading lights of, of that time, who said, and every American knows this, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. A little action now is going to forestall much greater, the need for much greater action later. Um, and that's exactly the nature of this problem.